Hello, good day viewers. I welcome you to this biology presentation. So in this presentation, we are going to revise past exam questions. So this is preparing for those who are writing their biology this year. Okay, so let's look at the questions. So here is our question four. So the question reads, figure four shows a spinal reflex arc. So this is figure four, which is showing the spinal reflex arc. So a spinal reflex arc is just a, a neural pathway that controls a reflex, which is a rapid, involuntary, and unconscious response to a stimulus. So this is located within the central nervous system, and it occurs in the spinal, spinal cord. So this spinal reflex arc, you can see, is labeled J, N, M, O, K, and L. So we are going to start with our question A right here. Identify the parts labeled J and L. So what is the name of this part labeled J? So the name of the part labeled J, these are the receptors. Okay. So a receptor just detects the stimulants, which is the change, such as pain, heat, or stretch. Then after it detects that change, it's going to generate what we call a nerve impulse. Okay. Then what is the name of the part labeled L? So the part labeled L right here, this is the white matter. Okay. So we have answered our question E for A. We now move on to our next question. So we have come to question 4B. Explain the function of the parts M and e O. So we need to explain the function of the part labeled M, okay, which is an effector or a muscle here. So what is the function of this part labeled M? So the function of the part labeled M just carries out our T, a response to the nervous okay, impulse. Then what is the function of the part labeled O right here? This part labeled O. So the part labeled O, this is the relay neuron. So what does it do? It just relays a nerve impulse from the sensory neuron to the motor neuron. That's what it do. Okay. So here I'll say the function of the part labeled O is just relay nerve impulses from the sensory to the motor neuron. So we have answered our question E, B. We now move on to our next question. So this is our question C right here. So our question C reads, which two letters in figure 4 form part of the spinal cord? So we are looking for two letters in this figure 4 that form part of the spinal cord. Okay, so the letters that form part of the spinal cord, we have letter K and letter L. So letter K right here, this is the gray matter, and letter L, this is the white matter. So I have answered our question C. We now move on to our next question. So this is our question D right here. Give one example of a spinal reflex action. Okay. So one example of a spinal reflex action we can say knee jerk. Then we come to question D2. Give one example of a cranial reflex action. So one example of a cranial reflex action can include number one, we can say blinking. Number two, we can say coughing. Or we can say a uh, response to light. These are examples of cranial reflex what, action. Okay, so we have answered our question D. Let us now move on to our last question, which is question E. What is the overall function of the nervous system? So here we need to state the overall function of the nervous system. And this question was just carrying one mark. So the overall function of the nervous system, what does it do? It just allows the body to respond to changes in the environment that is the general function or the overall function of the nervous system so thank you so much everybody we've come to the end of our short presentation this has been your presenter mr mlenga so to those who want uh, online tuitions in biology mathematics and additional mathematics pure sciences or in just ordinary science you can whatsapp me on 0963 0963 67 66 15. Bye bye.